Hello everyone. Let us solve some more problems on this concavity and convexity of the given curve. Show that y equal to e raised to x is everywhere concave upwards. And the curve y equal to log x is everywhere concave downwards. Okay, let us solve this solution. We have the curve and we need to show one by one. Let us go for the first curve y equal to e raised to x. Let y equal to e raised to x, then we need its derivative dy by dx equal to derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x. Similarly, d square y by dx square, the derivative of e raised to x, which is also e raised to x. But we know that e raised to x is always positive for all x belongs to the set of real numbers. Right? Therefore, d square y by dx square greater than 0 which implies the curve y equal to e raised to x is concave upwards. Okay. For all x belongs to r. Therefore, the given curve is everywhere concave upwards. Need to add the sentence. Okay. Uh, let us go for the second curve y equal to log x. So again uh, we need the derivative dy by dx derivative of log x is 1 by x. Similarly second derivative d square y by dx square derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square. Here is minus sign which implies d square y by dx square is negative for all x greater than 0 which implies the given curve y equal to log x is log x is concave downwards am i clear yeah let us move to the next problem Find the point of inflection. Find the point of inflection on the curve y equal to log x the whole cube. While solving the problem, please check the question. After that, you can go through the solution. Solution. Here we need point of inflection. Hmm? Not concavity or convexity. Let y equal to log x the whole cube. First derivative dy by dx is derivative of here which is in the form x raised to n, right? n into x raised to n minus 1. This is 3 into log x raised to 3 minus 1, which is 2. Derivative of log x is 1 by x. Applying chain rule. Then we need second derivative, d square y by dx square. So, which will be equal to derivative of this, we need to use the product rule to solve this. So, here, this will be 3 into 3 into this log x the whole square is there. 3 to the 6 log x log of log x raised to 2 minus 1 log x we left into derivative of log x. Right? 1 by x into here is 1 by x 
plus here 3 into log x the square into derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square. Am I correct? So, will be equal to here uh, I think uh, 1 by x square is uh, common. 3 is also common. If we take 3 divided by x square outside, log x is also common, right? So, we can take log x here. Uh, here we left with 2. And here uh, 1 log x is there with the negative sign. So, minus log x. Okay. For points of inflection, d square y by dx square it should be equated to 0. Therefore, d square y by dx square equal to 0 implies 3 by x square into log x into 2 minus log x is equal to 0. Implies, here 3 will not become 0 at any time. So, I will write log x into 2 minus log x equal to 0. Here 1 by x square is there. It is also not equal to 0 for any x greater than 0. Implies either log x equal to 0 or 2 minus log x equal to 0. Suppose log x equal to 0, then x will be equal to e raised to 0 which is 1. Or, suppose 2 minus log x equal to 0, then x will be equal to e square. Right? Log x equal to 2 or x will be equal to e raised to 2. Right? Therefore, therefore, d square y by dx square changes its sign when x passes through e square and 1. Therefore, the given curve has points of inflection at x equal to 1 and at x equal to e square. That is, uh, here the value of c we get 1 and e square. c comma f of c is the point. 1 comma f of 1. Uh, here we know y equal to log x. Then it will be log of 1. Log of 1 the whole cube and log of 1 itself. Okay. Which is equal to 1 comma log 1 is C. And E square. Here log of E square the cube. Okay. Will be equal to E square comma log of e square the cube is 8 log e 1 ok are the points of inflection on the given curve this is the problem ok next example find the nature of the curve y equal to sin x y equal to sin x for concave upwards concave downwards and for points of inflection in the interval they had given the interval also 
द इंटरवल माइनस टू पाई टू प्लस टू पाई ओके लेट एस गो फॉर द सोल्यूशन वी हैव वाई इक्वल टू साइन एक्स देन डी वाई बाई डी एक्स विल बी डेरिवेटिव ऑफ साइन एक्स इज कॉस एक्स वी नीड द सेकेंड डेरिवेटिव डी स्क्वायर वाई बाई डी एक्स स्क्वायर डेरिवेटिव ऑफ कॉस एक्स इज माइनस साइन एक्स नाउ डी स्क्वायर वाई बाई डी एक्स स्क्वायर इक्वल टू जीरो इम्प्लाइज माइनस साइन एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो राइट सो वी नीड द वी नीड टू चेक द नेचर ऑफ द कर्व इन द इंटरवल माइनस टू पाई टू प्लस टू पाई सो माइनस साइन एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो इम्प्लाइज एक्स विल बी इक्वल टू इन द इंटरवल माइनस टू पाई टू प्लस टू पाई वी हैव साइन जीरो इम्प्लाइज वेन एवर एन पाइ राइट एन पाइ जीरो बरते माइनस टू पाई माइनस पाइ जीरो प्लस पाइ प्लस टू पाइ राइट वी हैव द क्लोज इंटरवल दैर फोर वी कैन टेक माइनस टू पाइ एंड प्लस टू पाइ आलो सो हंग बरते वेन एवर वि गो फॉर दि इंटरवल वि नंबर लाइन हियर जीरो हियर पाइ हियर प्लस टू पाइ वी नीड अप टू दिस एंड हियर माइनस पाइ हियर माइनस टू पाइ वी नीड अप टू दिस ओनली ओके लेट अस चेक वन बाय वन इफ एक्स बिलांग्स टू माइनस टू पाइ टू Uh, we'll go for this interval minus pi. Okay, then sin x. Sin x is positive or negative? Check sin x. positive right okay so sin x is positive which implies we need d square y by dx square as minus sin x right so uh now this will be minus sin x is negative therefore d square y by dx square will be less than 0 less than 0 implies the given curve y equal to that given sin x right equal to sin x is d square y by dx square less than 0 and concave downwards in the given interval minus 2 pi 2 Plus two pi. Am I clear? So, uh, please note that here it should be a open interval, not closed interval, because at that point minus two pi and minus pi we got points of inflection. Therefore, we need to take the range only, which will be minus two pi to plus two pi. Minus two pi and minus pi will not be included. Okay, these these two are the points of inflection. That's why. Here, uh, as you know, simply for a general purpose, I am uh, explaining. You know, the curve will be a uh, sine curve will be in the form like this. Am I clear? So, if he, you have zero here, here uh, minus pi, here minus two pi, here uh, plus pi. Here plus two pi, like this it will continue. Hmm? If he, here is a zero, here the curve is like this. In this interval, the curve is like this. If you draw any uh, tangent at any point, suppose let it be the point P. If you draw 
the tangent at this point then here uh, at this point we we have the curve downwards with concave right so concave downwards in this case suppose if you have the point here let it be the point q if you draw the tangent at this point you will get the curve above the tangent which is concave upwards at any point you can take right here also here is upwards here here is upwards like this in this interval also you can check if here is a point r then if you draw the tangent like this then it will be uh, the curve below the tangent right so it is concave downwards if you got the point concave downwards here also that is in the geometrical manner this is in the numerical manner like this we will find uh, the nature of the given curve in every interval next we need take we need to take the interval minus pi to 0 after that we need to take from 0 to pi and after that pi to plus 2 pi like this you need to check the nature of the given curve am i clear please try it yourself and uh, we'll continue in the next class